What is going on, everybody? It's your boy King Mills TV. Back at you guys with another video, man. It's been so long. Your boy been in the car accident and just trying to go through everything so we can get into the video. Um, yeah, it's been so long. You know, your boy had surgery, whatever. That's why I'm saying stuff like that. Like, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. So my man, courtside here. He got the you know, the top three draft classes. That's what it says of all time and stuff like that. Me personally, I think. Uh, Kobe's the 96 draft class because they had AI, Ray Allen, Kobe, Steve Nash, uh, off the top of my head, Starberry, Marcus Canby, Jermaine O'Neal, somebody else. I don't know. They just had, they, were, they, they had a lot of guys, man, that, that became good. Um, but like, you know what I'm saying? You got two MVPs in that. Three, actually. You got three MVPs in that one. You know what I'm saying? In that one draft class. Like, I don't know how you, you could beat that. You got two in the, uh, the, what is the 86 draft class? With Mike and, um, Mike and uh, Akeem Olajuwon. There's only two from that draft class. Right? So, that three, two, like, you know what I'm saying? Who has the better accolades, stuff like that. Like, I would do it. LeBron's only MVP in in the um, 03 draft class. <clears throat> but yeah, man, like, yeah, yeah, I feel like the 96 had more more depth, you know what I'm saying? So, let's just get into the video, man. I just, you know, it's just me personally. I just, that's what I think. I like his intro, man. His intro's fire. Everything, like, his, everything. He, he, he's a mad professional. Hey, guys, welcome back to Courtside. My name is Sava. And today we're gonna settle a go debate. And no, I'm not talking about player go debate, but rather draft uh, class go right. debate. Go which debate. means I'm gonna look at the top three draft classes of all time in the NBA, and we're gonna decide which one is the best one of all time. Hmm. But real quick before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a like on this video. It's only gonna take you less than a second to do it, but it goes. That's an, yo, like subscribe to my boy channel, man. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, man. Yo, he, great content, man. He's gonna he's making his way up there, bro. Seriously long way to help this channel and help me get this video to more basketball fans out there in the world. With that being said, let's get started. So when I first started doing research for this video, I noticed that there's a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of articles that talk about top 10, top 5 draft classes and stuff like that and all of them are either inconclusive and what I mean by that is that they look at the class and they say like, oh you know those are the top 5 but there is no order to it or they have a conclusion but conclusion is solely based on opinion of somebody who made the video or wrote the article and not on the numbers and the facts which is fair I mean some people prefer that approach you know you're allowed to have your own rankings you're allowed to have your own opinion but this is not what I want to do no he's right yo honestly you gotta be it has to be facts that's why I went off of facts like cause D-Bay is my favorite player of all time but you know what I'm saying I'm you know like, I'm not delusional. I know that that draft class was fire. So, like, I don't, I don't ever bet, but I guess man, he even though we doing trash and shit. But anyways, let's get back to the video. What I want to do instead is look at the numbers, look at the rings, look at the All Star appearances, and see which draft class is the best one of all time. So, with that being said, I'm gonna look at the three draft classes because if you look at all those top fives, the general conclusion is the top three is gonna be 2003. 1996, 1984. 2003 obviously includes D Wade, LeBron, Bosch, and Mello. 1996 draft class includes Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash, Al Narvis, and Ray Allen, and some other talented players. Look at that. The class of 1984 Antoine most importantly includes Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, John Stockton, and Charles Barkley. Now, with that oh, being said, what I want to do is so look at each draft class. I look at the three separate categories combined stats per draft class, all star per class. And what I mean is not all of the all star appearances, but rather how many players out of that class been all-stars at least once and i'm going to look at the number of ranks after that gotta look at MVPs too, bro. Assign one point for each category and then we're going to see which nba draft class is the best one of all time and yeah before we get started i also want to say that i wanted to include the number of hall of famers from draft class but then unfortunately i wouldn't be able to look at the class of 2003 because some of the players are still playing from this class and the ones who are retired just retired a couple of years ago which means they're not included in the hall of fame just yet yeah. so we're not going to look oh. at the hall of famers today so let's go on first let's look at the class of 1986 headlined by kobe bryant so when we look at the stats <laughs> with the points we are at 277,202 with the rebounds with 107,430 and with the assists with a 61,065 the whole class of 1996 combined for a total of 23,000 
152 games played. When we look at the All-Star appearances, we get 10 players from that draft who were nominated as All-Stars. When we look at the rings, the class of 1996 has a total of 19. Now, those are some impressive numbers, but it's hard to judge them if we don't have something to compare it to. So now, let's move to the class of 1984, led by none other than Michael Jordan. First with the stats, we have 262,217 points. With the rebounds, we have 118,812. And with the assists, we have 62,686. The class played a total of 22,631 games. So while this class played a lot less games, they still managed to beat 1996 with assists and rebounds. You might want to thank John Stockton for assists and Hakeem Olajuwon for those rebounds. When we look at the All-Stars, we get a little bit less with only 7, and with the total rings, we have 13. Now, last but not least, let's look at the class of 2003, headlined by LeBron James. With the stats, we have a total of 276,225 points, 103,762 rebounds, with assists, we have 62,774, and the total number of games played by this class is 25,764. With All-Stars, we have 9, and when we look at the ratings, we get 27. So now that we got all the stats, let's look at the totals, and as promised, let's give one point for each category to declare. Where, where are you getting these rings from? Who, who got 27? Like... I'm trying to think. Who, who else is in that draft class that has rings? So, D-Wade, LeBron, and Bosch. Was Luke Wong in that? No, no, no. Let's see what he's up with. So, with 2003, they have three points, one for the rings, one for assists, and one for the games played. With the class of 1996, they have two points, one for the points, and one for the all star appearances. And the class of 1984 only led everybody in the rebounds. So, does that mean that the class of 2003 is the best one of all time? Well, not really. See, we can't really look at the total number of rings because it creates some problems. Not only there are players who played together and got the rings together, like in, in the class of 2003 when D-Wade, Chris Bosh, and LeBron got those rings together, and we shouldn't really count them as separate rings. With the class of 1996, both Derek Fisher and Kobe played together and they got five rings each, so that brings it to 10. Yeah, Derek and Fisher. Really count together. And then also in all those draft classes, you have players who, yes, played in the championship teams, they got the rings, but they didn't really do much to earn them. And it's not like I want to disrespect those players, I'm just saying that they were in those teams, but the impact was minimal and it wouldn't really be fair to count those if we really want to see which draft class is the best one of all time. So what I'm going to do instead, once again, I'm going to look at the rings from All-Stars. And the way we're going to count them is, we're not going to count the same rings twice. So what I mean by that, I'm going to give you an example. Gotcha. With the class of 2003, we're going to say that LeBron has four rings, which will include two that he got with Wade and one that he got with Mo Williams, who was one of the all-stars who got a ring out of this draft class. So LeBron's probably going to add one ring by D-Wade that he got before he joined forces with LeBron and Chris Bosh. And the only other all-star from that draft class who won the rings would be David West with two. So that brings us to a total of seven. With the class of 1996, we're going to give five to Kobe. That would include five that he got with Derek Fisher, two for Ray Allen, one for Peja Siakovic and one for Antoine Walker, which brings the total number to nine. Okay. The class of 1984, so MJ got six, Hakeem got two, and Kevin Williams got one. And you shouldn't really count the one from Kevin Williams because he got it in 2003 and the man was drafted in 1984. So you can imagine how much impact he had on that ring. But regardless, you know, it's a similar case to Peja Stojakovic in 1996. There was towards the end of the career, but we're still going to count it. So now that we have the updated totals, let's look at the final results. Class of 2003 has two points, one for assists, one for the games played. Class of 1984 has two, one for the rebounds and one for the rings. And the class of 1996 got three with one for points, one for all-stars, and one for the rings as well. Which means the class of 1996 is the greatest NBA draft class of all See, time. See, that's what I'm saying. That's, all I got for you guys that's easy. Hope you learned something new. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about it. Do you think that I should have included some other draft class? And I know this is not the perfect way to look at the things, but I feel like when people look at the draft class, a lot of times it just comes down to the preference of who do you like more, but I mean like LeBron, Kobe, or Michael, and they just leave the rest of the draft class out of the conversation, which is not really fair. So with this research that we did, we can finally decide that the class of 1996. See, my thing is with this, so the reason why I picked the 96 draft class is because they had more players. They legit just had more players. They had more depth. So these draft classes have to play a five eighty five and stuff like that, or whatever. Like, or we had to like say who had the most talent. Let's do it like that. Who had the most talent? Because if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? They look like they had the most talent to me, man. They had the most talent. Ninety six had the most talent, definitely. Uh, 
I didn't. I forgot Charles Barkley was in that draft class with Michael. That was that's not a bad one. With John Stockton, man, that's that's deep, pretty deep too, man. That's crazy. Nah, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, that's. I, that's a that's a dope draft guy. Let me let me just finish this up. Cool. By numbers is the greatest one of all time. So thank you guys for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, you can't get any closer to basketball than courtside. That's true. That's definitely true. But anyways, guys, yo, if you like these reactions, man, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. I appreciate you guys for stopping by, yo. Subscribe. It's gonna really help out the channel, man. You wanna you wanna help me out? You wanna see me in this thing forever, man? You know what I'm saying? You want to help me out? Yeah, I know you want to help me out. So just, just subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Jump out the gym. Flexing again. Flexing again. Yeah. Shoot out the rim. That's for the win. That's for the win. Yeah. Come out again. Flexing again. Flexing again. Yeah. Hang on the rim. That's for the win. That's for the win. Yeah.